Hi, uh, I am Mohammed Hassan. I am a professor of physics and optical sciences at the University of Arizona. So uh, I grew up in Egypt where I got my bachelor and my master degrees before moving uh, to uh, Germany uh, to get my PhD degree from Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optics. Then I moved to uh, USA to do my postdoc at California Institute of Technology. It was my uh, pleasure and honor to work with two of the Nobel Prizes in Femtochemistry, Ahmed Zouil in 2000 in 1999, and Ferenc Krauss, who got the Nobel Prize this year in uh, 2023. And uh, I decided to, in 2017, to start my own uh, group in the University of Arizona, where I uh, try to combine the knowledge I learned from both uh, institutions in Max Planck at Caltech to start my own group working on uh, imaging and controlling the electron motion in real time and space. Actually, I was uh, fascinating with uh, uh, electron motion since my uh, undergrad uh, study, uh, particularly uh, how the electrons are moving inside the atoms, how they, how they are uh, distributing uh, around the atom and how this is different from atom to atom. And this has built my curiosity back to that time. And I was, uh, uh, I think, blessed to uh, uh, continue my career path in the things which I am most passionate about and uh, this is why I was always dreaming of uh, the capability of imaging is this electron motion to understand it more and even take it one step further and how I can understand, uh, how I can control it. This is why I built a uh, uh, attosecond electron microscopy, uh, which gives me the capability to see the electron motion in real time. And also uh, I work on uh, developing the uh, light field synthesizer, which can control the laser field with attosecond resolution. And this gives me the capability also to control the electron motion. In the last 10 years, there are a lot of uh, development and a lot of advancement, uh, a lot of breakthroughs, like for example, the uh, development in high harmonic generation uh, sources, uh, particularly from solid state, which have a great impact on semiconductor uh, industry, uh, development, uh, the development of the ultra-fast optoelectronics, uh, uh, the ultra-fast uh, imaging, which we are talking about, and also, uh, more importantly, the uh, using the attosecond tools for imaging is uh, chemical reactions, is a biochemical uh, uh, systems. So I think this will shade the light on the important insights inside the systems and could open the door for a uh, biological application, which we really uh, need to explore with our uh, powerful second tools uh, because we can learn a lot. And I think we can uh, offer to the humanity and new applications they are not aware of. What I like about the second uh, 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 physics, I don't know if the people under see this or not, we have a contribution from almost all the continent, and particularly from Africa, for example. I know uh, other second scientists from Morocco, from Tunisia, from Egypt, like myself, from Nigeria. So this is already something, right? I mean, respect to the other type of... Uh, we have also from Asia, I know uh, other second scientists from Kuwait, from Saudi Arabia, from Taiwan, from Philippines, from beside China, Bro uh, Japan and and Korea, so there are like a wide range. Russia for sure, uh, Europe and U.S., Canada for sure. This is a developed developed country which they have already opportunities to explore this science. But also we have uh, uh, many other uh, scientists coming from different places. So uh, I think uh, Arasakan is is unique in this aspect, and I hope we able to promote this even more. Actually, I have two uh, messages, one general message and one special message. The general uh, message to all the young scientists, young physicists, please follow your curiosity, not the trend. I understand this is uh, now you hear a lot of the news and you get overwhelmed with everything around you, but please in, your, in science, 
don't follow a trend. Just follow your curiosity and your passion to understand new things. So uh, the special message is to the young scientists coming from a developing country like myself. So I know your boss is very hard. You grow up in, in, in a place where you cannot find opportunities. So please don't give up. Try to create your own opportunity. Try to seize this opportunity and try to uh, have your own contribution in science and technology. And thank you so much.